Section 8.2, find A, 60, when A, 1 is equal to 13, and D, the difference is equal to 4. A, N, is equal to A, 1, plus the difference multiplied by N minus 1. We are looking for A, 60, a1 is equal to 13, the difference is 4, n is 60, minus 1. Therefore, a60 is 13 plus 4 times, 60 minus 1 is 59. Four times 59 is 200. 36 236 plus 13 is 249 Write a formula for the general term of each arithmetic sequence find the 20th term The difference between 1 and 5 is plus 4 5 and 9 is another plus 4. 9 to 13 is another plus 4. We'll assume that pattern continues. That means the difference is equal to 4. What is A1? A1 is the first term in the sequence right there. So the, the first one is 1. The general formula for the nth term is the nth term is equal to the first term plus the difference times n minus 1. So in this case, the nth term is going to be 1 plus 4 times n minus 1. Then they want us to find the 20th term in the sequence, so the 20th term in the sequence is 1 plus 4 times 20 minus 1. 20 minus 1 is 19. 1 plus 4 times 19 is going to be 76. 1 plus 76 is 77. Find the sum of the first 40 terms of the next sequence. The difference between negative 16 and negative 8, that's a plus 8. Then between negative 8 and 0 is another plus 8. Between 0 and 8 is another plus 8. So we know the difference of this sequence is 8. We also know that the first term is right there. So we know that a1, the first term of the sequence, is equal to negative 16. We know that the sum is equal to n divided by 2 times the first term of the sequence plus last term of the sequence. Make sure to put the in there. So find the sum of the first 40 terms. So first thing is we have to find all the variables we plug in. Obviously in this case n is going to be 40. That's the 40 right there. We also need the first one. First term we already have that over here. What we don't have is these the nth term. We need the 40th term. So what we need is we need a n. And the way we find a n is the first term plus the difference multiplied by n minus 1. And more specifically to our situation, we want the 40th term, so we plug everything in. Negative 16 plus d, the difference of 8, multiplied by n, which is 40, minus 1. Which is negative 16 plus 8 multiplied by 39 which is negative 16 plus 8 times 39, 3, 12. And then negative 16 plus 3, 12 is 2, 96. Yeah. So what we do is now we have enough information to plug everything into this one over here. So we are looking for the S40 which means we have 40 
divided by 2 over the first term, which is negative 16, plus the last term, which is 296. We would say 40 divided by 2 is 20. And negative 16 plus 296 is 280. And we would say 20 times 280 is 5600. 5, 5, and that's it. You're considering two jobs. Company A starts you at $28,000 a year and $3, and a $3,000 per year raise. Company B starts you at $34,000 a year with a $1,600 per year raise. Find the total salary for each company pay over a 10-year period. Okay, so company A. So we'll do company A over here. So what they're really asking is for is the sum in which in this case is n divided by 2 multiplied by a1 plus a n. And we know n is equal to 10 because they said specifically 10 year period. We have to find a1 for company A. They start off at 28,000. So it's 28,000. We also need a 10 which they don't give us. So we have to calculate this A10. So the way we do that is we plug it in. The general uh, formula for this is A1 plus the difference multiplied by N minus 1. We are looking for A10. We know A1 is equal to 28,000 plus the difference. Now the difference for company A is 3,000. That's the increase we get per year. So difference in this case is 3,000, right? So again, difference is 3,000. And then we plug in N minus one, which in our case is 10 minus one. So we plugged everything in, now we simplify. So we keep the 28,000, and we are adding 3,000 times 10 minus one, which is nine which gives me 28,000 plus 3,000 times 9 is 27,000, which gives me 55,000. Now we should have all the information we need to use this formula right here. So we're looking for S of 10, sum of the first 10 terms, which is 10 over 2. A1, we got to plug in the A1 right here, which is 28,000. We're going to plug in the last term, the 10th term right here, which is 55,000. So we say 10 divided by 2 is 5. 28 plus 55,000 gives me a 3 there, and it's 80. 83,000, 83,000 multiplied by 5 is 415,000. So we have company A. Now we have to do company B. Company B. Company B. I'm going to do the same thing, except now so there's, there's a few differences. One is our A1 in this case isn't 28,000. It's 30. 4,000 and we have to find a 10 which is going to be different as well. A 10 in our case, well another thing is that our difference in this case isn't 3,000, the difference in this case, so this is our A1 for company B, 34,000, and our difference for the second company is the 16, so we have 1,600. So this right here is going to be the first term, which is 34,000, plus the difference, which is 1,600, times n, which in this case is 10 minus 1, which gives us 34,000, plus 1,600 times 9, plus 1,600 times 9, which gives you 34. Thousand plus sixteen hundred times nine is one thousand. Sorry, one th uh, fourteen thousand four hundred. 
and then we would have to add those together. So 34,000 plus 14,400. Keep the 400 at the end, which would be 48,400. So it looks like our 10th term is, is uh, 48,400. Okay, now we plug it into our summation formula, which we're looking for the tenth one. So we are going to have 10 over 2, sorry, over 2, first term, which is in this case 34,000, plus the last term, the tenth term, 48,400. So the tenth term is five times. 34,000 plus 48,400, we'll keep the 400. 48 and 34, we could keep the two. 82,400. So then we say the tenth, the sum of the first 10 terms of this sequence is five times this. Five times 82,400 is 400, 412. Thousand. 